Sean Diddy Combs' arrest and indictment, a timeline of key events. November 16, 2023, Cassie says in a lawsuit that Combs subjected her to years of abuse, including beatings and rape. The R&B singer, whose legal name is Cassandra Ventura, signed to Combs' label in 2005, and the two were on-again, off-again romantic partners for more than a decade, starting in 2007. The lawsuit filed in federal court says Combs was prone to uncontrollable rage and subjected her to savage beatings. It says he plied her with drugs, forced her to have sex with other men, and raped her in her home as she was trying to end the relationship in 2018. Combs, through his attorney, vehemently denies the accusations. November 17, 2023 With staggering speed, Ventura's lawsuit is settled the day after it is filed. The terms of the agreement are kept confidential. We have decided to resolve this matter amicably, Combs says in a statement. I wish Cassie and her family all the best. Love. November 19th, 2023. Combs makes multiple calls that he recorded to another victim of his sexual abuse, according to a later court filing from prosecutors, asking for her support and friendship and attempting to convince her that she had willingly engaged in acts constituting sexual abuse. Prosecutors say the calls came at the beginning of months of attempts to coerce and bribe potential witnesses against him as allegations emerged. November 23, 2023 Two more women accuse Combs of sexual abuse in lawsuits filed on the eve of the expiration of the Adult Survivors Act a New York law permitting victims of sexual abuse a one-year window to file civil action regardless of the statute of limitations. The lawsuits, filed by Joy Dickerson and another woman who was not named, allege acts of sexual assault, beatings and forced drugging in the early 1990s by Combs, then a talent director, party promoter and rising figure in New York City's hip-hop community. Combs's attorneys Call the allegations false. November 28, 2023 Combs temporarily steps down as chairman of his cable television network, Revolt, because of the wave of sexual abuse allegations. It would be one of several business setbacks for Combs brought on by the lawsuits. December 6, 2023 a woman alleges in another lawsuit that in 2003, when she was 17, Combs and two other men raped her. The lawsuit filed in federal court in Manhattan says she was living in a Detroit suburb and was flown to a New York studio where she was given drugs and alcohol that made her incapable of consenting to sex, and the men took turns raping her. The same day, Combs posts a statement on Instagram broadly denying all the allegations in the mounting series of lawsuits. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged, the Post says. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. February 26, 2024 A music producer files a lawsuit alleging Combs sexually assaulted him and forced him to have sex with prostitutes. The lawsuit gives a long list of potentially illegal activities dealing with drugs and sex that the producer says he witnessed. A lawyer for Combs calls the allegations pure fiction. March 25, 2024 Homeland Security investigations served search warrants in early morning raids on Combs' homes in Los Angeles and Miami in what officials tell the Associated Press is a sex trafficking investigation. Combs was at one of his homes in Miami at the time. His two sons, at his home in Los Angeles, were handcuffed during the search, Combs' attorneys said. March 26, 2024 Combs' lawyer calls the raids a gross use of military-level force and says Combs is innocent and will continue to fight 
to clear his name. The attorney, Aaron Dyer, says there is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. April 4th, 2024. A lawsuit that names Combs as a co-defendant alleges that his son, Christian King Combs, sexually assaulted a woman working on a yacht chartered by his father. The lawsuit filed in Los Angeles Superior Court says Sean Combs created the circumstances that led to the assault and paid to cover it up afterward. An attorney for the two men calls the allegations outrageous.